So we are right in front of the Grand Bazaar of Istanbul. We were told that we should see it because it is both one of the oldest and one of the biggest covered shopping areas in the whole world. And both of us hate shopping, so we don't know how long this is going to last, so let's give it a go. People are constantly trying to get your attention. They want to sell you a carpet, they want to sell you clothes. There's a lot of knockoff bags, knickknacks, things like that. So, as Jeff said earlier, we're not really shoppers. We're not really looking to buy anything, but visually, the place is stunning. So, we're going to go in and try and get some more footage for you. Yeah, just being completely honest here, I hate a shopping mall on the best of days. Uh, this is a sight to see though. It's not some place where I would want to come and hang out all the time, but it's absolutely a sight to see. No thanks, boss. So there's what I'm talking about right there. Right? Oh. <laughs> okay, so there you go. I had to cut the camera off there because we were chased down by another vendor uh, that's talking to us about Toronto. So And they're going to keep coming after you regardless. We keep telling them we don't have a house. <laughs> we can't buy your carpet. We don't need they, a carpet. They still insist on it. <laughs> okay, so we've just left the bazaar now. We're going to see what we can find to eat around this general area. And she's going to make that decision. So, uh, something about me traveling uh, Jeff can tell you, and anyone who knows me can tell you that uh, even in my hometown, I get lost all the time. I never know which way I'm facing. Uh, but all of these narrow streets and these alleyways and whatnot, I am entirely disoriented, but also very thoroughly enjoying this. So we're just walking around trying to find something to eat right now and we stumble upon this. How cool is that? We're not sure where we are. We don't know the name of the mosque, but everywhere we turn, we keep running into beautiful, beautiful structures. So I guess eating might have to wait. Let us know where we where we are. It's the tomb of Suleiman the Magnificent and I guess to reflect the man the tomb itself is also entirely magnificent. Okay, so we're just walking through this compound right now that we happened upon with the tomb of Suleiman the Magnificent, and look at this. 
How absolutely crazy is that? Here's a little more of what you're seeing back behind us right now. And you've got to see this. I am shocked. We had no idea this was here. We wandered in and this has probably got to be the best viewpoint of Istanbul you're ever going to see. It's We're going to show you that here in just a second too. So that was a really happy accident. I think we probably should have done our research and known that this was one of the main points we really ought not to have missed in Istanbul. Lucky for us, we have nothing but dumb luck and just stumbled upon it looking for lunch. So that distracted us for quite a while. Uh, my stomach is really starting to grumble, so let's go see what we can find. Uh, the way I orient myself is by landmarks. So I was looking around for the mosque with the blue dome and the tall blue minarets to try to get an understanding of where I'm at. And let me just show you a shot of what I'm looking at because there are literally three or four in this general vicinity that are confusing me. Okay, we're down on the harbor front right now and we're on the search for Angela's elusive ekmek balik. Uh, it's a fish sandwich, so we're gonna balik see ekmek. balik ekmek, which one of the other, I'm not sure which. Uh, so we're gonna go see if we can find that for her right now. It's so good. the other day we were in this exact spot and we saw this little roadside stand selling the balik ekmek, which is the fish sandwiches, and it was packed with locals and we went back to find it and it's not there, so mm, I'm very disappointed. Uh, it was probably there on that day because it was a weekend, today is a weekday, so we're probably going to have to go into one of these little seated restaurants to grab some lunch. say to ourselves we're going out for dinner and we're having a night off we're not bringing the camera we're not doing any filming and whenever that happens inevitably it is the best meal that we've had all week uh, when we have the camera with us we are filming a lot doing a lot of the attractions and whatnot we end up so starving and we walk into some place and it's just kind of average so what we're gonna do is do our best to try and bring the camera along and film next time we catch something excellent so we're going to close this one off here. We are at the ferry terminals right now, waiting for our ferry back over to Katakoi. Uh, please leave a comment down below if you have any suggestions or comments. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe to see what happens next. Let's do that again. No. Uh